Well, Michael came here today, and we asked him. Regarding Danielle's daughter, did you ever sexually molest her? He answered no, and the results for his lie detector test is that Michael did not tell the truth. No, oh, don't let him do that, Rob. <laughs> Come with me. Come with me. She's physically ill. She's obviously very upset. Okay. She's right here. Okay. He fell for the lie detector test, okay? The simple question, what we're here for, is did he molest your daughter? He answered no, but he failed. He did not tell the truth. Oh, okay, hold on. We gave him the test. Okay. Stop hitting. If he hits anything else, we're gonna have to wrap you up, and you're not gonna want that. He took the test three times. You failed three times. Now, we do cut scores. Dan does cut scores, right? You have to have either a plus four to pass or a minus four to fail. He was a minus 28, which is off the charts lying. Off the charts you do me like this, lying. Michael? That's my baby, Michael. If he hits anything, just wrap him up. Okay, don't hit anything. Oh, God, man, why would you even come on TV and brag yourself like that? You know you're gonna go to jail. You're about to go to jail. Oh, the you know you gonna go to jail. You ain't about to go to jail. To pick your nasty ass up. You ain't about to go to jail. I didn't touch you a little girl. I didn't touch a little girl. Touch a little girl. That's the reason why we got to touch a little girl. Cause you're nasty ass. You're a nasty ass bitch. That's right. Oh, I swear to God, Michael, you, you sick. Here's the deal. <laughs> we gave you this test three times. You are off the charts lying. I don't understand and how the I'm fact, lying. And the fact that your own police department found that you were trying to use countermeasures to beat the test. So you know what? You're just making yourself look terrible. I myself believe that you did something horrific. Now, I do this kind of story almost every day that I show up for work. A lot of guys in this world doing kids that they shouldn't be doing. But you did something really, really bad. You stole something from a girl. And you hurt her. And this is a little girl that looked at you like dad, who, who wanted you to protect her. And you harmed her. And you probably, and little you little screwed girl. her up. Why she have not seen You nothing? screwed her because why she she's a little nothing? girl. That's why. That's why. why is, uh, can, she's a why little no girl. There's no DNA. There's no nothing. Well, in you know her. what? You said something earlier. Lock me up. Well, we're not gonna lock you up because we're a TV show. I'm saying if you think. But I'm what a we do then, do they is put me expose in man. guys like you. And when you go home, guess what? I'm gonna be you on TV. Everybody's gonna know about no, it. I know. No. Yeah. You are gonna get locked up. Okay, and I'm going for, to be locked up. For and a moment fight, of I'm gonna time. I'm going to fight the case until I prove Yeah, I'm you fight it. And I'm going to come here and, and you know, tell you. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to show you that. I'll have I'm to come to you not. and talk to you behind bars. That's what I'll have to do if I ever see you again. Okay. You're probably going to spend the rest of your life in jail for what you did. And you know what? 
That's what you deserve. And with that, I hope I never see you again, and I hope you rot in hell. You too. Well, I didn't do anything to kids, buddy. These are the most powerfully emotional shows that we do, okay? And I can't even imagine the emotions that are running through your body right now. But I gotta tell you this, this is gonna go a long way with putting him away so he can never do this to your daughter or anybody else's child. But what I wanna remind you, and I hope you listen to me because I am truly thinking the best for you and your daughter. When you go home, don't do anything stupid. Because if you do something stupid, then who does your daughter have? You said there's even people close to your family you don't even trust to watch your daughter. And if you're not around, who's going to protect her? Do, do you hear me? Yeah. You want to wake up every day and be with your daughter. You want to be there every night when she goes to sleep. And we're going to follow with you with this case to the end until that guy's convicted and he goes to jail, all right? We're gonna be with you every step of the way. You have somebody, you have us, okay? Thank you. All right, good luck to you, all right? You get through this and you keep your daughter, all right?